What's going on, Baltimore Ravens fans? This is your boy, Big Raj, here with another video. I'm making another video because I got three keys to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. But before I say them, I must say this is a beautiful, beautiful feeling. We are one of the four teams that may possibly go to the Super Bowl if we win on Sunday. And I just think it's a very, very beautiful feeling to be in this position right now. I mean, just going into the off season last year, we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know that Lamar Jackson would, would be back. We didn't know that we would get Zay Flowers in the draft. We didn't know Odell was coming. We didn't know any of these things. But yet, all these things happen. And we got Todd Munkin and uh, Mike McDonald has stepped this game up as a defensive coordinator. And now look where we're at. We're in the AFC Championship game against last year's champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. So just, very, just be blessed. Be very happy we're in this position and look forward to Sunday. But anyways, these are my three keys, man, that I think that we need to focus on to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Number one, we have to contain Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is a complete and utter monster he always finds a way to get open he always beats the zone and i'm not sure if anybody in the league can i really cover him but he's a major key you know to stop especially when patrick mahomes gets outside of the pocket you have to put a body on travis kelsey now will that be you know kyle hamilton marcus williams patrick queen who knows but it might be a plethora of guys. But either way, you have to limit Travis Kelsey. You're not going to completely stop him, but you have to limit his touches and his big plays. Number two, you have to stop uh, Isaiah Pacheco. Pacheco is a violent runner. I believe if you don't put, if, if you don't, you know, hit him when he's coming up the middle, extremely hard he will literally run over you or try to run over you but he's a very violent runner he likes to run downhill you have to put a body on him you have to put lots of bodies on him and you have to limit his running so i think if you can do that that also will help um, the, the kansas city chiefs be one dimensional which would be cool and they wouldn't have you know another option besides Travis Kelsey and, and the run game. I mean, well, yeah, the run game would be shut down. But I think that's a major key to stopping uh, Pacheco. Also, the third and final one, this is the biggest one, pass rush. I know I said last week pass rush was big, and it was. C.J. Stroud got off, got off of his square, got off of the spot, and he was not able to find anybody open downfield because he was constantly getting pressured and throwing the ball away. So I think if you do that to Patrick Mahomes, you have to finish this time. You have to get sacks. I believe if you sack Patrick Mahomes, I think that will be a very, very good um, thing to do because you don't want to get him out of his spot, chase him down, and then he finds Kelsey or Rice or Pacheco you know, or Valdez Scantlin, you know, you don't want him to find none of these guys because this is exactly what Patrick Mahomes does and does very well. So when you chase him, you have to get to him. You have to sack him. You cannot miss the sack. You cannot miss the tackles. Get him down. So number one, like I said before, stopping or limiting Travis Kelsey is a huge key. Number two, Pacheco, the running back, you know, Stopping him as well, hitting him hard and when, whenever he runs is a huge key as well. And Patrick Mahomes, you cannot allow him to escape the pocket. You must hit him and hit him hard. But not hard enough to get, you know, penalty calls on him, but just enough to, you know, rattle him just a little bit. This is his first ever, well, this, well, this is his first ever AFC Championship game on the road. So you want to make him very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable.
But I think if these guys, these Ravens, do these three things, I think they will win the game and win the game handily. But we shall see what happens on Sunday. Like I said, this is a very privileged position that the Ravens are in, and I'm extremely excited for this game, and I know you guys are too. But anyways, check out a lot of more of our videos, and stay tuned for more from the Flex Zone Podcast. This is your boy Big Raj signing out to you right now. I see y'all in the next one. Peace.